Hello everyone, this is me Arijit with a new video and in this video we are going to see how you can do live video streaming using your Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi camera. So as you know there are many tools using which you can do live video streaming from Raspberry Pi. But the problem is the latency. In most of the techniques there will be a huge latency and so it will be not in real time. But in this video we are going to see a method which will be almost in real time and the latency will be very low. And also I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Zero and a Pi camera. So I'll show you even if you're using a Raspberry Pi Zero, which has a very less computing power, still the video will be almost in real time. And also like the video will be streamed in web. So you will be able to access it from any device, from a computer, from a, like a, a smartphone or any device. And if you want to like stream it over the WAN, that means like your Raspberry Pi is in your home and you want to access the video footage from somewhere else, I will also tell you how you can do that so that like you will be able to access the video uh, over the internet. So we are going to discuss about all this thing in this video. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay guys, so let's just talk about the hardware first. So in this video, I'm going to use this Raspberry Pi Zero and I already have connected a Raspberry Pi camera with it. Uh, but you can also use a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. Okay, the process is totally same. Uh, but the thing is that you cannot use a USB camera. This process is not for USB cameras. You, you have to use a Raspberry Pi camera and this method will only work with Raspberry Pi cameras. Okay, so don't use a USB camera. It is not going to work. And uh, this is all about the hardware part, there is nothing else and if you don't know how to connect a Raspberry Pi camera with Raspberry Pi Zero, in that case I have a separate video on this like how you can connect a Raspberry Pi camera with Raspberry Pi Zero and how you can check if it is working or not. The link of that video will be in the description so uh, you please watch that video and then you can just continue in this video. So now let's like uh, turn on this Pi, get into the Pi and see how we can actually do the video streaming. Okay guys, now we have to get into our Pi and for that I am going to use Putty but you can use like that is the mechanism on BNC whatever you want. So here I'll write my local IP and now I need to write the username and password and now I am inside my Pi. Okay. Now here before like I begin I have to do two things you don't need to do this thing actually my one of my Python script is using the camera so I need to turn that off. So I will use sudo pkl python but you don't need to do like use this command okay uh, okay so now we are basically ready uh, to install the service now here we are going to use a service called rpi cam wave interface so the link will be in the description so you copy this link and then you just use git clone okay to clone the repository and uh, it will take some I think few seconds or few minutes to download the whole repository and uh, you just wait for this and um, after it will be downloaded we have to get into the file like folder so cd rpi web interface cam web interface and then here as you can see there are many files we need to use that install sh file so dot slash install dot sh and uh, this script will basically do everything for you don't need to do anything you just wait and basically it is going to it will, uh, it will basically install everything now remember one thing before you do these things you must have to like uh, uh, basically enable your camera from the sudo raspi config and also you must have connected the camera properly so if you don't know how to connect the camera properly or how to turn on the camera or how to check if the camera is working fine or not i have a separate video on this topic the link of that video will be in the description so you watch that video and then you continue so make sure that your camera is connected properly and your camera is working uh, then only you continue else you will get error like camera is not working not getting sensor data from camera and like a lot of uh, errors okay so make sure your camera is working and then you can just uh, do this thing. So here we need to wait a little bit and as you can see here we got this uh, menu here. Now here I'm going to change only one thing which is I'm going to like uh, I don't need auto restart so I'll use no here. If you need auto start like in that case like uh, sorry auto restart auto start. So if you need it in that case it, uh, you can just left it as yes but I'm going to let make it no and then you can simply press enter and uh, then it will start installing all the things so here it will basically install a php 7.3 so it will take some time so we need to wait here okay now i'm showing the installation process because if we get any kind of error i will show you how to fix that up and you may get uh, error here because okay remember one thing here i'm using the latest version of raspberry and uh, like raspberry, raspberry pi os okay so you should also do the same so as you can see here we got a, a error so uh, 
if you get idle like this if you don't get idle, it's totally fine if you get idle like this in that case like you can use this technique and it may work fine for you so here i will just do this And also like even after doing this, if you get any kind of error in that case, you just do a sudo app get update, sudo app get upgrade. Okay. Most of the times uh, after doing these two things, maybe like uh, your errors may gone. Okay. So you do that. And if still you get error after that, like you shouldn't get any error if you're using the latest version of like Raspberry Pi OS. And if you have like, if you have the update in that case, you shouldn't get any error, but st still, if you get any error, you can let me know in the comment section. Okay. So, and uh, here, as you can see, the update process is going on. And uh, I think it will take few more seconds to complete the update. So let's just wait for it. And now, as you can see, the update is finished. Now we can actually uh, do the same process. So again, uh, we will run the install.sh and hopefully this time it will work just fine. Okay. Now, as you can see, the installation has been done successfully. And now here, I'm not going to start it now. I'm going to select no here because I want to just show you how you can start this service manually. So here we will basically select uh, no. And uh, now we are basically now here from here, we are going to exit. And now we will just start the service manually. And now we'll see like uh, how it is working. Okay. So to start the service, there is a file in this folder called start.sh. So if you do a ls, you will see there is a file called start.sh using which you can turn this service on. And there is stop.sh using which you can turn the service off. So now at first we'll use start.sh. And uh, after the like the script will get executed, uh, the camera will be turned on and the service will be turned on and we'll be able to actually use it. So now uh, let's see. Okay, now let's check uh, how it works. So here we need to write the IP of our Pi. In my in my case, it's one nine two one zero zero dot one zero five, and the port number is eighty. So if we don't write it, it's still okay. So if you open it, you will see something like this. You click in the HTML, and then you will be able to access the camera. Now here, as you can see, uh, it's working just fine. And as you can see, the latency is not or like like it's very low, and it's almost working real time. As you can see, I'm talking, and uh, as you can see, it's working just fine and even if i just stand something like this you can see uh, it is working totally fine okay uh, now as you can see here there are many options so now let's just explore them so if you see there is a uh, record video record image times left start motion detection stop camera so if you just click in the record image it will basically will capture image so now if you just go to download images you will be able to see the image and also you will be able to download it and uh, then there is camera settings now here there are many things like the resolution the like image resolution fps uh, brightness sharpness saturation iso and many more things so you can play with them but the most important like the thing i like really use is this rotation thing so you can actually rotate the camera so based on your project you will be able to maybe uh, uh, you have like you have used the com camera somehow in your project so that like you need to rotate that you can actually rotate it from here which is a really cool feature so you can even rotate it 180 and like as you can see it is working just fine and the thing is there which is uh, actually a uh, flip you can actually horizon you can give it a horizontal vertical flip which is also great okay so there's a lot of things you can actually use them and you can play with them okay and you can see how it's work and uh, there's a system where you can actually do shutdown do reboot reset settings and things like that so there's a lot of settings and also even if you just click it once something like this you will be able to get you will get a full screen view and then uh, if you click it uh, once again you will get a like uh, what i can say minimized view something like this so this is how it works and uh, like and now if you want to like access this thing over the wan so this video footage over the wan uh, if you know how to do port forwarding, it's totally fine. You can do port forwarding, but if you don't know how to do port forwarding, in that case, uh, in my channel, I have a video where I have shown you how you can actually like uh, uh, access Raspberry Pi ports over the internet without port forwarding. So the link of that video will be in the description. And it's uh, like using this technique, you will be able to access this video over the WAN. That means from anywhere in the world. And you don't need to pay it. It's a free service. So you can watch this video, set up the Pi, and it will take hardly five to 10 minutes. And then you'll be able to access this video over the WAN too. Okay, so the link will be in the description. Please go and watch that out. Okay, and I hope you will like it. 
so this is about how you can access it and now to like turn it off you can simply go here and you can simply write uh, stop.h call stop.h and it will be stopped and now as you can see uh, i am still talking but it's not this uh, image is not moving anymore this is because uh, the camera has been stopped okay so this is how you can actually use this and uh, so uh, i think and you can actually explore all the other settings okay and let me know uh, if you find any other settings really interesting okay in the comment section let me know and if you have any query regarding like uh, regarding anything here you can also let me know okay so this is all about this video guys and i hope you have liked this video uh, in that case please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel many more raspberry pi based projects are coming so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video